Hayato Kanzaki, a Jedi-like warrior who's really a star gladiator. His Shiden is a move that can turn foes into Miss Me. And the Gruden is a deadly anti-air move. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, he's currently the 14th placeholder in D tier. But what is it about Hayato that keep opponents devastated? To find out, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad for Dad and Kids Play 1, and this is Hayato move list from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Hayato moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, let us first take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is a move called Shiden. Shiden is Hayato's rush attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. This attack hit twice, which will allow Hayato to move in closer to the opponent. The light punch version moves at a shorter range while the first punch variation moves much further. The move is generally full screen distance with the second strike making contact. Also, Sheedan is an awesome combo finisher and works best while doing combos. You can try to use this attack alongside a partner who has a dashing or rushing assist type. The next move I would like to cover is called Gurin. This move is Hayato's anti-air attack. To do this move, do a dragon punch motion plus any punch button. Gurin is generally a vertical attack, but a fierce punch variation will allow Hayato to rush in a bit before executing the move. This anti-air can be performed in mid-air as well. Please keep in mind, when it comes to anti-air moves, you typically want to use the light punch version since whiffing this attack will leave Hayato wide open for punishment. The first punch Gruen works great as a combo finisher, especially when you have the enemy in the corner. So here's something we don't really see often, a smaller character with a special throw, the Bayako Howl is Hayato command grab. To do this move, position Hayato close to the enemy, then press back, forward, plus both punch buttons. In all honesty, I really feel like this move isn't really worth it, since it does a little more damage than a regular throw. I guess you can pull it off and be very flashy while fighting your opponent. Unless I'm missing something here, or like you can pull off an infinite or something similar, I don't recommend it. This attack is more like a command normal, but it has a few variations, so I decided to list it as a special move. To do the Doku rule, Press forward twice in any of the following combinations. So forward twice and light punch twice will make him do this. Forward twice and fierce punch twice will make him do this. Nice cross up. And forward twice and light punch and fierce punch will allow him to do this. 
So it's, you know, you got some nice mix-ups from uh, dashing at his opponent. This move is a great mix-up attack when dashing forward, and you can always keep the opponent guessing on what you're going to do next. Speaking of dashing forward, keep in mind that you can do other moves as well, such as the Bayako Howl and the Sheedan, to name a few. The Bayako Howl is a little more trickier to pull off, but it can be done. Hayato has two throws in this game. Press forward and fierce punch for a saber impale into a toss. Press forward and fierce kick in mid-air for a fallen knee driver. To do the launcher, press down plus fierce punch. This launcher is a bit on the slow side of things, but at least it has range. Hayato has two command normals for this game. Press forward and fierce punch to do the heen attack. To do the Daiachi Kogeki, press down the fierce kick button while in midair. You can do Hayato's taunt by pressing the select button. If you're playing the Dreamcast version, then press light kick plus start to do the taunt. So, the first hyper I would like to cover is called the Red Sat Suzanne. Hayato would do an improved version of the Sheedan attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. The Rizet Suzanne is a great hyper and serves well as a combo finisher, even though it has a delay on startup. This move has Hayato moving forward, but be sure to be fairly close to the opponent when initiating the attack. Once you incorporate this hyper with your combos, the damage will definitely start piling up. The second hyper I would like to cover is called the Ingetsu. This is the move where Hayato hits the opponent with the shockwave from his saver for 5 hits. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. The Ingetsu hyper travels sort of like the magnetic shockwave and it has decent range. However, you need to be at a certain range and position for this move to be effective. If you use the attack from full screen distance, or if the enemy is in the corner, the hyper will not fully register. The Ingetsu hyper is really the closest thing to a projectile attack and use it for chip damage whenever it is necessary. So the third hyper I would like to discuss is called a plasma field. This is the move where Hayato powers up and plasma fields around his body. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle back plus both kick buttons. And it looks like this. So first of all, this move doesn't do damage on its own, but if you manage to connect it, Hayato will go into an overdrive state, which will allow him to do finite hypers until the timer runs out. In this state, you can do all the other hypers except the plasma field. The move will become available again after the initial plasma field runs out. The plasma field is the only hyper that can be done in midair. air. 
So as long as you have me to like have time, you can always go into a, uh, you can always do a hyper, as long as you have time. This move is definitely one of the better hyper moves Hayato has. The Black Hayato is a Raging Demon style attack that does massive damage. To do this move, press Light Punch, Furious Punch, Back, Light Kick, Furious Kick. The Black Hayato has range although it's not full screen. For maximum effectiveness, use this hyper as a combo finisher for insane damage. There we go. Make sure to have at least three meters before attempting to move. There we go. Hayato has some specific combos he can do besides the standard magic series. To do his plasma combos, press the following button sequences. Press back plus light punch four times. Press back plus light punch, light punch, fierce punch, fierce kick, light punch, light punch. Press back plus light punch, light punch, light punch, Fierce kick, light punch, light punch. Press back plus, fierce punch, light punch, fierce punch, fierce punch, fierce punch. Press back plus, fierce punch, light punch, fierce punch, light kick, and fierce punch. Here's what to expect when you use Hayato as an assist character. Hayato's alpha assist will attack the enemy with a fierce punch cheating. His beta assist will use a fierce punch Gurin. And his gamma assist will perform a fierce punch cheating. Overall, Hayato is a cool character, but I feel like he should be used with advanced players. Also, his basic attacks have some delay on startup. There's definitely hurdles for him to overcome since he doesn't have any projectile moves to apply pressure from a distance and there's no way for him to zone the enemy by himself. Generally, you want to keep Hayato medium to close range from the opponent since that's where he can be the most effective. With that being said, here are some tips to help you play better with Hayato. Always finish a combo with a special attack such as cheating, but if you have meter, finish the combo with the Black Hayato instead. Catching the opponent with the plasma field means you can spam supers until the time runs out. Since Hayato doesn't have any projectile moves, try pairing him with a partner that has a projectile assist. If you don't have enough meter to do the Black Hayato, Finish the combo off with the Reset Suzanne if possible. Whenever using the Hayato as an assist, make sure to use the Alpha one, which is the Fierce Punch Reset Suzanne. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next game. Peace out.